Hello dear friends. Top 3 Best Electric Cars 2022 First 2022 Porsche Taken. Most Taken models feature dual electric motors, with one powering the front wheels and the other powering the rears. They produce separate outputs that vary by trim level. The 4S generates 522 horsepower with the smaller battery and 562 horses with the bigger one. The latter comes standard on the top models, the 670 horsepower turbo and the 750 horsepower turbo S. The base model makes between 402 and 469 horsepower, depending on the battery size, but it's rear-wheel drive only. All taken models also have an innovative two-speed transmission that provides a thrilling shift during hard acceleration. We've driven the Taken 4S and were impressed by its prompt acceleration as well as its point-and-shoot handling. However, we wish it had a more responsive brake pedal, especially since Porsche chose to forego one-pedal driving. Those with a serious need for speed will be blown away by the Turbo S's rocket ship takeoffs. The version we tested hit 60 miles per hour in just 2.4 ticks and cleared the quarter mile in 10.5 seconds at 130 miles per hour. A Model S performance with cheetah mode matched that blast to 60 miles per hour. This ferocious acceleration, along with the car's low-slung driving position and precise steering, is what makes the Porsche special among electric vehicles. And it's comfortable too. Even rolling on 21 inches wheels with narrow sidewalls, another taken Turbo S we drove never felt stiff or harsh. Second 2024 Polestar 3. A dual motor powertrain is standard on the Polestar 3, but it's offered in two strengths. The base setup makes 489 horsepower, but the performance trim gets bumped to 517 ponies. Polestar has said that the powertrain is rear biased even though all wheel drive is standard. With the more robust electric motors on board, Polestar says the 3 will sprint to 60 miles per hour in 4.6 seconds. Every 3 will come with an adaptive suspension system with active dampers, but the performance package includes a sport tuned version of the suspension. When we get a chance, we'll take the new Polestar 3 for a test drive and update this story with driving impressions. All models come with the same 107 kWh battery pack that can charge at up to 250 kW on a DC fast charging connection. Polestar says that is enough to get the battery charged from 10 to 80% in as little as 30 minutes. Once charged up to full, the standard model is said to deliver about 300 miles of driving before needing to be reduced. The more powerful performance model's estimated range is slightly lower at 270 miles per charge. The last and third 2023 Kia Niro EVA single electric motor feeding the front wheels will be the Niro EV's lone powertrain. Kia says this setup generates 201 horsepower, which makes it more powerful than the 139 horsepower hybrid and 180 horsepower plug-in hybrid models. Despite the extra power, the Nero F feels more tepid than we expected and needed 6.7 seconds to reach 60 miles per hour. Floor the accelerator in eco mode and the Nero F veritably crawls, which is probably good for saving range but is far from satisfying. The normal and sport driving modes make the Nero F feel more alive and in our testing, the Nero F edged out the Chevy Bolt EUV slightly at the quarter mile drag strip. Luckily, the Nero F steering feels natural, but the cornering grip is measurably lower than some rivals. The Nero F has an estimated range of 253 miles per charge, which is 14 miles more than its predecessor's 239 mile range. The 2023 Nero F uses a 64.8 kWh battery pack that when connected to a DC fast charger is said to be able to charge from 10 to 80% in about 45 minutes. During our 75 miles per hour highway fuel economy test, the Nero delivered 210 miles of driving before needing to be recharged. 